Thanksgiving is a time of year when people sit in reflection upon wonderful memories of days gone by. It is a time of rejoicing, of celebration, of reestablishing the bonds of friendship and family. It is the pinnacle of our autumnal consciousness. But it is also a time when the specters and phantoms of the past emerge to dance as vague shadows along the stones of the amber-lit hearth, to flit as tattered shades through the dark, crisp November air. Blackwater Media presents A Haunted Thanksgiving. A few years ago, I was at my parents' home for a family dinner on Thanksgiving Day. This is the house I grew up in and have never experienced anything paranormal. What happened to me that day was very surprising and still bothers me to this day. I spent the early part of the day helping my mother in the kitchen preparing dinner. We were laughing and talking and looking forward to sitting down to eat with the whole family. While making pumpkin pies, my mother needed a break from the heat of the kitchen and went into the living room to watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I stayed in the kitchen and continued to work. While making the pies, I needed to go to the pantry to get some ingredients. The pantry is located down a short hallway connecting the kitchen with the back of the house. I grabbed the items I needed and headed back to the kitchen. I was almost back to the kitchen when I remembered that I forgot to grab something and quickly pivoted around to head back to the pantry. To my shock, there was a man standing near the area I just was in. It must have been two or three seconds, even though it felt like forever, and then he was gone. I've never seen this man before, but I can remember he was wearing overalls and a hat. The most disturbing thing for me was it seemed as though he reacted to me. It was like he was either shocked that I saw him or he was shocked to see me. After seeing this man, I decided not to tell my mother or father. It wasn't until months later I finally felt comfortable enough to tell my mom about it. She was interested but said she never had anything unusual happen to her in the 35 years she lived in the house. I know what I saw. I know he was there. My question is, why? Who is he? Why did I see him? In my 28 years of living and visiting my childhood home at Thanksgiving brought back so many great memories. But the two to three seconds on that Thanksgiving day seems to be burned into my mind more than anything else I've experienced in that house. 